already previously recorded parts of this video so I'm hoping that it worked and I can just omit this part but if you're seeing this just know that my original footage was really bad I actually used my cell phone and I was trying to aim it at the floor and it wasn't working very well hi it's T and I'm here to do a redesign of my portable or my temporary design wall as I should say I actually have a piece of flannel that I have attached to a roller shade with pins and then all of these extra pins or pins that I have to use to pin my blocks on because they won't stay because the flannel won't hold them on and I'm thinking maybe if I use batting that this might be better than using this piece of flannel so I'm going to switch this out and thought that I would just do a video on it really quick for those that want to do this. The reason why I use a roller shade is because I actually have this hanging over my closet and so I want to get in and out of the closet so it's not a permanent design wall, more of a temporary one. So first step is to remove all of the pins. Now I have the piece of flannel completely removed. My next step is to get some batting so that I can lay it on top of this roller shade and then I'll start pinning and then I'll cut the batting after I have everything pinned. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and start pinning the batting to the roller shade at the top. So now that I have the top pinned, I'm going to go ahead and place some pins along the sides as well. So I have one side done. I'm now going to rotate around and do the other side. I now have it pinned on both sides and the top. I have a little extra batting hanging over here. So I'm going to go and trim it off. And now I want to pin along the bottom.
So I have a few pins left, and I'm just going to temporarily pin them in the middle somewhere so that it will hold down. have my unit pin and I pinned all of my pins parallel with rolling the rod so when I got to the sides I also pinned sideways as well so I am going to go hang this up to make sure that it's going to work so I'm just going to roll it up until I get into the room I'm going to hopefully get a different camera because this camera is not the best and I want to hang it up before I, to see if I need to make any adjustments to my batting. So when it's rolled up for storage, this is similar to how it will look. So I will meet you in my room where I hang it. <laughs> I was having difficulty using this as a design wall because my quilt blocks would not stick on it. And I'm hoping that if by using 100% cotton batting that it might cling to this a little more. So I have already removed this piece of flannel. It was only attached with pins across the top. Now I have pinned pins across the top and I have also pinned pins along the sides, both sides and then also along the bottom. And I now have some stabilizing pins in the middle of this bat. And so what I wanted to do is go ahead and make sure that I don't have any puckers in the batting and it looks like it's doing okay for the most part. Might have a few places that needs a little bit of an adjustment. And I think what I'm also going to do at this point is I'm going to go ahead and try to stitch this down to the back. I'm going to probably go in and maybe do 12 inch rolls across. I'm sure they're not going to be straight because I'm not going to mark it. This is also a bulky project, so I'm sure it's not going to go through my sewing machine straight. Also, I'm going to use more of a basting stitch, maybe like a 3.0 stitch length instead of using my regular piecing length i am stitching through vinyl i'm just going to use my current sewing machine needle that's already in my machine which i use for regular piecing and then after i'm done with this i am going to replace my needle so let me go do some stitching and i'll be right back